we put a tweet out. We said most improved teams in 2021 will be fill in the blank. Had a ton of thoughts. <laughs> I am going to say for that one, let's go back to George Bello, Atlanta United. Mm. And Atlanta fans, don't take this all that positively. It's a good thing. You're going to make a big leap from 22 points and being but six points off FC Cincinnati, who had one of the worst seasons in this league's history. But, like, Atlanta are coming from a place that I don't think I really expected them, I'm not going to say ever to be, but to be quickly after the highs that they reached in their early expansion life. Yeah. After Tata, after, you know, the hiring of Frank DeBoer, which I think at the time most people said, hey, this looks like a pretty good hire. After winning two trophies, last year was sort of a shock to the system. So for me, if you look around Major League Soccer and you have to consider two things. One is total upside, but also is previous position. Where were you in 2020? It's hard to come in and say, oh, man, I really think that, like, you know, I don't know. Well, tell Colorado me Rapids are, team, Weavey. Colorado Rapids are going to make this massive leap. Well, it's like, yeah, well, they had 1.56 points per game last year. They're yeah, like, they'll they're be in the, similar, but they were in good the top year. half of yeah. the league. Like, you need a team that was down – that has the chance to make a huge leap up. So outside of Atlanta United, who would there, that team be for you? There were two other obvious ones to me, both in the West, Vancouver and the Galaxy. I feel like Vancouver's having a good offseason. We heard the rumors around Otavio, who's starting for Porto right now in the Champions League round of 16. If they can get a player like that in, it's wild. But even without, I think they're an improved team. And I'm not sure yet. I think there's a the half of this where if Canadian teams – have more of an idea of, okay, this is what the year is going to look like, even if it means they can't play any home games. It may be easier mentally than the, we might go home this week, we might not, we might be here, we might be there. So all of that goes into it, and the other is the Galaxy because they were so bad last year. To your point about Atlanta, it's more obvious that Atlanta will get better because at a minimum they get Joseph Martinez back where there's more unknowns with the Galaxy under new coaching staff. Does Chicharito bounce back? Is he better? Is Jonah healthy? Is Pavone there? What's the back line look like? There's more question marks, but the expectation is they'll be better than they were last year, and there's a lot of room, like you said, for them to grow. 